Hey guys, um, in this video today I'll be going through differentiation in C3 and in particular concentrating on the quotient rule. The quotient rule is defined as dy dx is equal to b multiplied by du dx minus u multiplied by dv dx and this whole subtraction divided by v squared. Okay, and um, we use the quotient rule when we have a function being divided by another function. Okay, um, I've got some examples, I've got one example for the quotient rule, and the reason being is because I find the quotient rule quite long in terms of what to do here, and it becomes hard to simplify your answer. Um, what I normally do is I normally um, use the product rule, and the way I do this is I say um, this u divided by v can be written as y is equal to u multiplied by v to the power of minus 1, and here we've got a function multiplying another function, and therefore we can use the product rule. Um, if you have a look at my product rule video, I've got one example where I've done an example where I've done this um, process of putting the bottom at the top. Um, just for your satisfaction, you can do both ways to see if you get the same answer. Okay, so the example I've got for the quotient rule is as follows. It is y is equal to 4x divided by 2x plus 1 all squared. So, what's the first thing we do here? The first thing is we say we put u is equal to the top function, 4x, and we say v is equal to the bottom function, which in this case is 2x plus 1 all squared. We then differentiate u with respect to x as required by here, the rule. So, du dx is equal to 4, and then dv dx is equal to, using the chain rule, it's equal to 4, 2x plus 1. Okay, so that is just using the chain rule, which is defined as dy dx is equal to du dx multiplied by dy du. Okay, so the quotient rule states dy dx is equal to v, which is equal to 2x plus 1 all squared multiplied by du dx, which is 4, minus u, which is 4x, uh, multiplied by dv dx, which is equal to um, 4, 2x plus 1, close brackets, and this whole thing divided by v squared, which is 2x plus 1 to the power of 4. Now you can see how kind of it can be a bit long to simplify this, and that's the reason why I use the product rule. It gives a much easier and simpler answer, much more quicker, in my opinion. So this is the quotient rule. I hope this helps. Um, again, practice with these. Learn the formula, if not already in the um, your formula book. But uh, check it out and do as many questions as you can. I hope this video helps. Um, take it easy. Thank you very much, and goodbye.